Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a very special review and that is the Galaxy S10e. Now, this product has really been absolutely amazing. I'm about to ship it off to the giveaway winner. Before I did, I wanted to break down a full review for you guys. And first and foremost, I think this phone causes us to create a new category. It's not really a mid-range, as mid-range I feel is more between 450 or 500 and going up to 600 to 650. That's what I consider a mid-range price point. This one I would consider entry-level flagship. So as an entry-level flagship model, this really has a lot of the traits you look for in a flagship. It has waterproofing, fast wireless charge 2.0, regular fast charge. It really just has a lot. It has an amazing looking display. It has the best battery life, which we'll get to in a second. And it really just has everything you'd want from a flagship. All in all, with this phone, I think the biggest questions are, is the screen size too small? Is this a really good performance? Does the battery life really suffer because of it's so much smaller? And yeah, most of those questions are actually negligible. So first off, I love the side fingerprint scanner actually because it really does seem to work very quick and that aspect of it is really nice even compared to the regular S10 which is having some issues with their fingerprint scanner. Screen size wise, this is the same screen size as the Galaxy S8 was and even bigger than the Note 7 just to give you some perspective. So 5.8 is smaller than today's standards but not too much bigger or really the same size as most flagships from yesteryear. That being said, in terms of display, it really does look great. It's a Samsung display, 6 gigs of RAM, so it stands out a lot. And in terms of battery life, well, this one actually just dominated our battery test better than a lot of other mainstream flagships from last year. So this one got over eight hours of screen on time. That is nothing to snuff at, especially when you consider the battery size of this. So for a lot of people who are saying that, oh, well, it only has a 1080p display. Yeah, but that keeps it at amazing battery life. So I think it's a really worthy trade-off. All in all, this one did surprise me in just how good it really was. The battery life definitely to the test of time for a heavy usage with navigation and YouTube and social media. It just was impressive how long it stood in there for. Now, all of those were after our battery life improvement tweak. So if you haven't checked out our video on how to improve your battery life, make sure to check out that because that's how we got those results. All in all, this phone is at $750, which is really good for a flagship nowadays that are mostly costing $1,000, especially when you get most flagship parts that you really need. The 10E, the E stands for essential. So yeah, you really have all the essentials in this flagship smartphone. I really will say that this phone is something that a lot of people should consider if you just want the best phone, but you don't need some of the extras like a telephoto zoom that no one's really gonna use or an ultra wider angle selfie cam. Yeah, this one is a really good one to go by and I leave you with this. This one is $750 now, which is still a really good price, but during the holidays, this phone is definitely gonna be the phone to get because the S9 was $500 during the holidays last year. So imagine how inexpensive this phone is going to be during the holidays. You have to imagine it'll be under the $700 price point, and at that price point, it will be a better deal than any OnePlus or any mid-range phone that really comes out at that price. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I really do love how this phone really doesn't have any essential compromises, like wireless charging, like certain things that you would want in a flagship. This one, you don't have to compromise. You have the camera, you have the screen, you have the battery life. What else do you need? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.